All right, YouTube, on Six Falconer, <clears throat> back with another freaking exciting video. Uh, the old lady's Jetta, two, 2013. I just did a video on adjusting the emergency brake cable on the thing. I'll, I'll tell you the backstory here real quick. Um, a couple months ago, she had left her lights on at work, so she had to get the car jumped. Um, the person doing the jumping, it was in the dark. They hooked the uh, cables up backwards. They, they assumed, because this one was colored, that this was a positive and this was a negative. So the wife calls me up, oh, the battery's smoking, they're trying to, the car won't start. So I had him do a video call, and I'm like, man, freaking look at the battery. You're, you're, you have your jumpers hooked up backwards. Eh? So anyways, I figured I was going to call a tow truck, and I figured I was going to fry the freaking ECM. But it didn't. They hooked it up right. At, anyways, so about three weeks ago, she comes home and tells me there's, you know, there's something going on with the brakes in the car and there's a and there's lights on the dashboard. So I took it for a drive and sure enough, the brakes there, you know, you you uh, come to a stop, you just about totally stopped and then bam, I felt like somebody rear-ended you and then you'd roll. So the brakes were locking up and then releasing and, and the emergency brake, there was nothing there. So I thought that's what was causing the issues. It turned out it wasn't. It just, this stuff all happened at one time. Um, what happened there was the emergency brake cable had froze up. So the, so the, uh, on the passenger side, so the, the rear brakes weren't working properly. That problem's rectified. So in the meantime, I'd, I'd well, I'd ran a scan with my OVD 11 scanner, um, and it's throwing, uh, three codes. The engine, it's like a 1214 code. It says uh, throttle slash accelerator position sensor. And then um, there's transmission code that says, all it says is ECM. Um, I can't remember the number. It's 13 something. I'll have to look it up. And then brakes, same number, just or it says ECM. So I don't know if the, if that, jumping it backwards affected the ECM or what but anyways so I looked on the uh, the throttle accelerator throttle slash accelerator sensor you know click the Google link and it came up with a list of things and um, I was reading through them and and it seems like most people if their throttle body is bad they would the vehicle would go in limp mode when you tried to give it some power but also it, it would have erratic idling and this and that um, people with accelerator pedal problems the vehicle would just go in limp mode um, so and that's what this car is doing I mean it runs perfectly fine around town if the temperature is below 40 degrees the EPC light doesn't come on until after the car has ran a while um, so I ordered an accelerator pedal well that wasn't the problem <laughs> so now so I ordered a throttle body here. The accelerator pedal got lost in the mail. It took about two weeks to get here. Put that in. <coughs> Funny thing about that is a hell, it's a hella pedal. I ordered it from partsgeek.com. Cheapest pedal they had, $87. It's made by Hella, H-E-L-L-A, made in Germany. The the part the accelerator pedal I took out of the car, identical, made by Hella but made in mexico so <clears throat> that's kind of funny anyway so so i'm trying this uh uh throttle body so i ordered one unfortunately ordered off of amazon because i wanted it and you know it got here quick this is like 62 bucks plus tax um made in china um the 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 oem volkswagen throttle bodies are cheaper but they're like nobody has them not till like late june so um to do this throttle body you got to take your uh your engine your whatever this cover plate off which is just this thing will this thing will set on on the motor like so you got to take your clamp off because this this hose is going to be down there Take this clamp off, move it up here. Um, this right here, there's two uh, T20 screws that hold this into this, which is 
is going to be right there. Um, take them out. Then you just freaking grab from the back here and you got to pull up really hard. Um, and this, this piece will pop off. It just, there's rubber, rubber grommets that go over these, these, uh, these little freaking doohickeys there. Then, uh, I took this piece off here, which is mounted right like that, so that I could get access to this hose here with these, which are on this, like a so. You just squeeze these in and pull them off. But I could not get my hands down in to get this one with with this piece in the way. Um, and as it turned out, I still had to, once I got that out of the way, I had to get uh, a pair of pliers to squeeze this one in to, to get it pulled off. Um, and there'll be one of these in the throttle body. You just remove that with the pliers while I slid this one back onto the throttle body. Slid that piece off. Then you're going to have to have a new hose clamp because uh, what the hell was that noise? The one they have here on the whatever line this is here <laughs> um, fuel line or something it's one of them crimp on ones so you gotta, you gotta work that off. So you're gonna have to have a, a hose clamp. Then you have uh, down here the the plug in for the throttle body you just push the tab in here and pull this back and that'll come off and then there's four t30 uh bolts in there screws whatever you want to call them they go here here there and there and uh i did not order a uh a new throttle body gasket i'm hoping i don't need it <laughs> so I'm going to pull these out and uh, get that throttle body off, slap the new one on. Hopefully this is going to take care of the issue because the more I read there, it could also be the, uh, the, the MAF sensor, the mass airflow sensor that's causing the issue. So I guess we'll find out. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, YouTube. So I got the, uh, the old throttle body off. Um, the screws that come out. Or like a sole, they're just this is just plastic, and the, and the uh, the original gasket is this O-ring here. It looks like it's in perfectly fine shape, so I'm gonna slap the new one on and uh, put it back in the same order I took it off, and we'll see if that does the trick. All right, so I got the new throttle body in. If there's one thing I'd recommend is is getting yourself, you know, go to Harbor Freight or get yourself a cheap torque driver like this, because these uh, screws will only go in so far and you can see how the head on this one will move so if you like uh, put an adapter on a ratchet or something you might freaking screw up your plastic back there so other than that that went in easy so let me throw the rest of the stuff on okay so when you put your boot back on here these these couple lines here when you push them on, you'll hear them lock into place. You know, they'll go click, click, so you know you got, got them locked in there. So, all right, put the rest of the crap on. I'll be back. All right, got everything back in, buttoned up. Um, with, this, with this hose here, I had to put the back blade of a screwdriver on, on here to, to push it up to get it all the way on here my freaking fingers are frozen it's like 40 degrees out but it, man there's a lot of there's a lot of freaking moisture in the air and son of a bitch man all right so now we're gonna fire this prick up i hope the hell this is it <laughs> uh oh Hmm. 
say it's 43 degrees. Shit. All right, so let's see before I end up. Get a little gas. PC light just went off. All right, let me take her for a rip and see if, because uh, usually the EPC light, if it's above 40, stays on. Let me take her for a rip, then I'll run a scan on it with the OBD11 and see what see what it says. I'll be back. All right, so I just ran the scan, got back home, took it up the hill. We got a big steep hill freaking ran perfect but I just scanned it and we're still throwing codes so let's uh, let's see what it says here I may have to clear the codes okay number one engine let's go to faults okay throttle pedal position sensor now there's a new one throttle valve drive <laughs> that wasn't there before um so that uh okay that code is a uh, p0122 let's see what uh the throttle valve drive P1558. Of course, that may be because I just switched the throttle body around. So let's uh, transmission. Faults. You got to have internet with this thing. That's the only thing that sucks about this. All right, same thing, ECM, engine control module. That's it, that's the uh, 01314. All right, so back out of that. Go to brakes, faults, same thing again, ECM. Huh. Then the last one is going to be a bad gateway. But that's because of the aftermarket head unit. So so let me clear these. All right, now it let me clear them all. Last time when I tried clearing them, the... Uh, brake wouldn't go off and a check engine wouldn't go off but it let me clear them all this time so let me take it for another rip as you can see there's nothing on the dash so let me take it for another rip and I'll rescan it and see what happens alright well I'm back to having all the codes again only this time it's different um the engine it's throttle valve drive which is code 1558. <laughs> no fucking idea. Let's see what Google says. Throttle actuator electronic malfunction. Oy. Throttle valve control mod module has failed. Or the ECM has failed. Son of a bitch, man. All right. Go back to transmission. The freaking ECM. Because what happened here? Power is missing or voltage has dropped. 
Oh yeah. So what's happened here is uh, when I cleared, I cleared the codes, and then uh, and then went to start it, and it wouldn't start. So I'm just gonna leave all the all the codes up there. So I figure that freaking ECM has got to has uh, got to have a problem there after um, after that jump start. So let's shut it off. I'll show you what it does now when I. See, it dies. And this is what it would do before, but then I could go like this and give it like three pumps. All right, well, you just did it again, so. All right, YouTube. So, after about 10 restarts of the car getting to start it up you know drive it around park it whatever didn't start it shut it off start it it everything worked out um i think it the the computer had to get adjusted to the new throttle body so now it, it runs like nothing was ever wrong and you scan it everything's all the codes are gone and all that so i mean it was tough starting you'd have to uh because you get it started it would start and then die boom boom so you'd have to give it a little gas and then fire up and wham, rev way up and then but then it would stay running and um but like i say after about 10 times of getting it fully started and shutting it off then everything cleared up so all right that's it see ya punches.